Hey everyone, it's been a packed week for fighting games. I'm your host Arya, let's go through it. Asuka R, also known as That Man, joins the roster of Guilty Gear Strive as the final character for Season 2. This character has always existed in the Guilty Gear universe as a central figure in the story, but hasn't been playable until now. He uses a vast arsenal of magical spells from the pages of an ancient book and dons a really cool cape that peers into the cosmos. Asuka also has a 5-star difficulty rating and seems extremely complex, so lab monsters should be satisfied. In a strange twist of fate, something similar has happened in Skullgirls 2. The main antagonist of the series, Marie, has been around from the very beginning and is the final boss in everyone's arcade run, but she's never been playable until now. While announced in August of 2022, the developers have now shown off a bit of her gameplay. Marie is bedecked in a maid uniform and fights with a hoover. This follows Skullgirl's practice of equipping their characters with all kinds of weird weapons. With the June 2nd release date for Street Fighter VI coming ever closer, we now have more details about the tournament season that will follow. The Capcom Pro Tour season generally starts towards the end of the first quarter of the year or very early in the second quarter. However, with the release of Street Fighter VI in June, which is towards the end of the second quarter, we can safely say that we'll be having something of a condensed season this year. Capcom has now released some details as to how the CPT season will proceed. A total of 48 players will make it to Capcom Cup 10 next year, with 18 coming from the online premieres, 3 from the offline premieres, 26 from the World Warrior events, and one final player from the Last Chance Qualifier. There'll be more updates including the CPT calendar and the two other tournaments that will act as offline premieres for the season. Note that the entirety of the CPT 2023 will be held on Street Fighter VI and both classic or modern controls are tournament legal. Iron Galaxy has released a note on their official blog sharing details of a new update for Killer Instinct, which celebrates its 10th anniversary this winter. The developers have reported difficulties maintaining the game on existing legacy servers. However, the team has already begun migrating all of its content to the PlayFab servers, which power many modern games. Bandai Namco has released a statement about the next balance patch for Dragon Ball Fighters and its rollback netcode beta testing. The team is almost ready to release a big balance patch and plans another round of meta adjustments based on the collected stats. Patch version 1.32 should be out by the time you see this. The developers also announced that they've decided to postpone the rollback netcode beta test to later this year for quality assurance. And now for the icing on the cake. Netherrealm finally revealed the next Mortal Kombat game with a gorgeous and bloody CGI trailer. The game seems to take place in a reshaped universe created by the fire god Liu Kang so expect to see reimagined versions of all the classic characters. Mortal Kombat 1 is set to be released on September 19th for next-gen platforms, PC, and surprisingly, the Switch. NetherRealm Studios have a history of releasing the game shortly after an announcement, and we couldn't be more excited. And that's that for this week's Finding Game News. Have a good one all, and catch you next time.